Last time on Dragon Ball Super TR, just as Vegeta finally unlocked the power of Ultra Instinct, two new UI users arrived in the form of Toru and Zen. Two Torujins who knew best how to beat the mysterious new dark god, Xanthia. With Zen seemingly being the key to winning this battle, Goku and Vegeta must watch closely and figure out a way to help despite being completely outmatched. But before we begin today's video, support this channel by leaving a like right now as you read this and watching this video right through to its intense ending. Both of these actions will help me massively in the YouTube algorithm. Enjoy. Our story begins with the four Ultra Instinct users confronting Xanthia, the escaped dark god of destruction. Oh, oh, would you look at that. To all of you small fries gathered here, welcome. I'm going to slaughter all of you. An emotionless Toru dodges all of Xanthia's attacks. And so too does Zen. Why aren't they using a stronger attack? Goku and Vegeta both in their Omen Ultra Instinct forms watch on confused. Well, well, that's a beautiful way to fight, isn't it? Aww. <gasps> this is getting on my nerves! What a waste of time! Wait, Vegeta! They aren't stalling! Huh? In that state, there's nothing that can defeat Xanthia right now. That's why they're using a defensive stance. They're planning to make Xanthia run out of stamina. They're making preparations for that one final blow, right? That's why I think nothing would have changed. Are you saying they calculated this before they started fighting? Yeah, probably. <laughs> so, what now, Kakarot? I have some ideas. <laughs> Without warning, Goku transforms into a Super Saiyan 3. That's... Super Saiyan 3? Yes. Ultra Instinct may be excellent in defense, but it's not specialized in attack. If the plan is to find an opening and finish the fight in one blow, then Super Saiyan 3 is the only way to do that. Meanwhile, Zen and Toru continue to dodge all of Xanthi's attacks. Until... <laughs> Suddenly, Xanthia's attacks begin to land one by one. Without warning, Toru steps in the way to protect Zen. Toru! <laughs> Playing around anymore, Zen removes the rest of his upper clothing. But once again, Toru steps in the way to protect Zen. Toru, why are you doing this for me? Shit, it's because I'm weak. Suddenly, using instant transmission, Super Saiyan 3 Goku joins them. Now, it's my turn. Y you are. Are you okay, Toru? I'm sorry. Don't worry, Zen. More importantly, take this. What's that? It's called Tiger Eye. It's a magical treasure that will protect you. It also contains Tora's wish. Magical item in Zen's hands, he suddenly feels a wave of power pass through him. Mastered Ultra Instinct has reawakened in Zen. Ultra 
natural instinct. How did you... Don't touch me. Zen, who now seems to have been possessed, reacts coldly to Goku. Oh, so you had... No, I had that kind of power, huh? How about this? Why don't we come back together and go on a rampage? Come back together? What are you talking about? If we become one again, I will let the one in my body free. Yeah. Okay. What? <gasps> As expected, I'm sure everything's under control. Then, I don't need her ability anymore. <gasps> A feminine hand begins to pass through and leaves Anthea's body. Yoki! I'm so glad you're okay! As her eyes open, she takes a glance at the possessed Zen. The... that's Rumino? No, he's not Rumino. He's an earthling warrior with both Tura and Saiyan powers. What? Goodness gracious. A Saiyan, you say? He's a Saiyan too? I see. I think I'm starting to understand. Well then, let's become one again. The scene then zooms in on the earrings of Zen, a gift Toru gave him to ward off evil spirits in the last chapter. We then see that flashback. These are Uno, special earrings that ward off evil. You might need them, especially now. Just as Toru predicted, Xanthia is unable to rejoin the possessed Zen. What? What the hell did you do? I see. He wanted to save Yogi. Right now, Kakarot! Here I come! Super Explosive Dragon Fist! This is bad! Wait, Goku! As a result of Toru's interference, Goku misses. That idiot! What is he doing? Once again, all of Xanthia's punches miss. Until... <laughs> Once again, and perhaps for the final time, Toru gets in the way and takes the blow for Zen. I'm sorry. Take care of Toru. Yeah. Uh, yes! Zen! Using instant transmission, Zen gets right behind Xanthia. <gasps> you... You, what do you think you're doing? Let, let me go! Son Goku! Huh? Do that Dragon Fist thing! Quick! Wait, if you kill me, you'll... You'll die too! Huh? But, but you... If we let this guy go, he'll eventually hurt the people we care about. So, just do it. I won't last for long. <laughs> Hurry up, I beg of you! Okay, got it. W wait! Stop it! Zen! No! Is he going to self-destruct? Super Explosive Dragon Fist! One blow, Goku passes through both Xanthia and Zen. 
That's impossible. Zen, now mortally wounded, slowly loses consciousness. Zen! Goro's attendants grab Zen quickly, but in anger, Toru retrieves him back. Zen! Goku and Vegeta satisfied that they've now defeated Xanthia, both power back down to base. Don't worry, I have Senzu beans, I'll give them to you. It won't work! Zen and Xanthia were originally the same person. If one of them dies, then the other one will die as well. Zen knows this and is willing to sacrifice himself. Saving him physically is quite easy to do, but it's more important to remove Xanthia, the root of the problem. No! Karushia, send Xanthia to the room of Shura immediately. If he's in the room of Shura, he can't do anything, so you can save Zen. Yes. Whis, isn't there a more efficient way to help this guy? It's difficult. Two hearts, one body. If you help the good, you also help the bad. I can't think of a better way to deal with this. Now, I'll take Zen to Yardra. Yardra? Yes, if we go to Yardra, they might be able to help Zen. Torigens have been working with Yardras for a long time, helping each other out. Also, if we go there, we might find out something about the four mystical treasures. So that's how you learn to use instant transmission, right? Yes, that's it. What are the four mystical treasures? The four mystical treasures are the four divine beast treasures. The azure dragon, the white tiger, the vermilion bird and the black tortoise. Legend has it that when someone collects them all, the goddess Renoa will grant their wishes. We didn't know about that. Of course you wouldn't know. The goddess is a Torah divinity, a legend locked away. So it works like Dragon Balls, right? Isn't it faster to just ask Shenron then? Dragon Balls, Dragon God, the four mystical treasures, has a tiger god. Dragons and tigers always clash. I don't think a tiger can ask a dragon to grant their wish. You won't go far with just speculation. It's not a speculation. We already have the White Tiger's treasure, Tiger Eye. The others must be in the hands of their respective power keeper. As far as I know, the Black Turtles must be in the hands of the race using the Tortoise's secret technique. The Vermilion Birds, if I'm correct, is in the hands of a heinous fighting race. I have no clue about the Azure Dragon. What? A fighting race? You mean there are other fighting races besides Saiyans and Turijans? And Wicked too? <laughs> that sounds like a lot of fun. Not all of them will be easy. I may have to fight, but I can't leave Zen like this. I'm getting excited already! Alright, I'm coming with you! Why don't we go say hi to that fighting race? I refuse. I don't need a Saiyan's help. This is not a game! You can't come just to have fun. Goku, Toru is right. Sorry, but... Oh, oh. It's unusual for Lord Beerus to apologize. <laughs> that wasn't an apology. Why do you hate Saiyan so much? Zen has Saiyan blood too. I'll tell you about that later. First, Toru, take Zen and go to Yardra. Yes, I'll do it. Yoki, go back to the city and explain this to the others. Got it. Karushio, you know what to do. Prepare it. Alrighty. Then proceeds to wipe Yoki's mind of any information she shouldn't know. Goro, what are you guys going to do now? For the time being, I'll return to the temple. I need to put Xanthia in the room of the Shura. Whis, shall we go back then? I'm a bit tired. Yes, of course. Okay then, bye bye. And so, with everyone left, only Beerus, Whis, Goku and Vegeta remain. Goku, 
Gather your friends and head for Yardra. Oh my, what's the matter Lord Beerus? First you apologize then. I already told you, that wasn't an apology. Zen is in that state. Toru is the only one that can fight. If anything happens, you would go even if I didn't tell you to anyway. This is gonna be fun. <laughs> Some time passes and a healed Goku and Vegeta can be found at Capsule Corp. I get the gist of it. Let's get going then. Gohan, take me with you. Can I? No, you need to stay here and protect the Earth. If anything happens, you will protect everyone. But I can fight too. Please. Stop it, Trunks. Y yes. A Trunks with a mysterious and mischievous smile then turns away. Meanwhile, on planet Yardra, Toru arrives to see the entire planet engulfed in flames and destruction. What is it? He then focuses to then try and find a certain area. I found it! <laughs> What's going on? What the hell happened? Oh, Toru! As you can see, the city is in ruins. It's been under attack for some time now. Most of the Yard Rats fighters have been killed. Everyone here is not cut for combat. Some were barely able to escape. This planet is done for. Guril, where are those guys? You're going on your own? That's too risky. There are a lot of them. The elders tried to protect everyone, but they were defeated. We were told to call Son Goku, but we don't know who he is. And the elder, Son Goku, just who are you? Anyway, I'm going. Look after him, please. Oh, I can do at least that much. But this guy is tied with a silver cord. A strong evil power. That's why I want to use the four mystical treasures to cut the cord. You have to protect him until then. This is how I feel. Oh, I see. Then be careful, Toru. And so, the curtain rises on a new battle to cut Zen's silver cord. Just what will happen to him. And that was it for today's video. Leave me a hashtag Yardrat in the comments down below if you made it this far and let me know what you think of the story so far. Are you confused or are you enjoying the new lore? Make sure to leave a like and if you want to see more manga, just click on one of these two videos on the right. But until next video guys, cheers.